hello everyone welcome to my channel once again i am ere and in today's video i'm going to show you how to calculate your take a lot fees so before you even start selling on take a lot you can understand how much you're gonna pay on things like fulfillment fees success fees and also what fees are there as a seller because there's a lot of myths out there from people who've never sold on take a lot like they will say that the storage fees are too much or they are too high whereas not anybody is going to pay for the storage fees but you are going to understand all that in this video so let's go straight on my screen and i'm going to show you from there so the first thing that you need to do is to go to google and search for takealot.com and on this option here where it says sell on take a lot at the top over here this is what you're going to click on so in this case we're not going to apply to become a seller but that's what you just click on and then it's going to take you over here to this page but just ignore everything and scroll to the bottom until you see pricing so this is where we're going to start with calculating our fees the first fee that you're going to pay is the monthly subscription fee which is 400 rand so all this fees they are vet exclusive so you just have to add the 15% vet on top of each and every fee so it says here we charge a monthly subscription fee of 400 rand per seller account per month you can choose to cancel your account at any time now we have the calculator here but let's skip this part we're gonna do this lastly then we go over here to success fees so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the plus button or the add button over there so we're going to have our information about success fees so on the success fee you will be paying for things like referral fees transactional costs customer support all round platform support so those are the things that when you pay your success fee are included on that and now over here on my right these are the categories and these are the percentages that you pay depending on which category you belong to now let me scroll to the bottom to see all the categories so let's start with the first one this is the baby category and if you fall under this category maybe you are selling baby clothes baby food like purity or baby nappies or the toys you're gonna fall under this category and the success fee is between 12 to 15 percent so meaning that if you're selling price per product is 100 rand you're gonna pay 12 rand or 15 rand of that selling price so if you're on beauty you pay this much so the success fee also depends on which category you are on so as you can see here we've got 5.5 percent so this is on games so meaning that somebody who is on games may pay way less compared to somebody that's on baby or beauty so some categories have less fees so if you wanna also save on that maybe you can choose a mobile category which is 7.5 percent so the rest is just down over here and we've got tv and audio at the bottom which is 5.5 percent and 12 percent so this is how success fees work so it's the percentage of your selling price so now that we understand the success fees let's move to fulfillment fees and on the fulfillment fees i'm still going to do the same thing and click on the plus button and then i'm going to scroll at least so that we can see everything so the fulfillment fee is going to be charged according to your product how big is it what's the weight of your product so for standard this is like a smaller product so if your product is less than 7 kg you're gonna pay 18 rand of your selling price oh before we come to this about the success fee if the customer returns your product you get your success fee back because your product was not successful so you get that credited back into your account now going back to fulfillment fee if your product is less than 7 kg is anything between 7 kg or less you're gonna pay 18 rand and now if your product is heavy you're gonna pay 39 rand so this is if your product is 35,000 cubic centimeters but if it's bigger than that you're gonna pay 30 rand 39 rand so it's gonna depend on the weight of your product so now on the fulfillment when you list your product you do mention let's say for example you are selling a webcam like this so there is packaging details that you fill in on your seller portal when you're listing your product it's either you use a ruler or a measuring tape to measure this box so they're gonna look for the length of the product on this one is 15 centimeter so this is my length of the product and they're also gonna ask for the width which is 
on this product it's 9.8 i'm just going to take to the nearest which is going to be 10. so this is the width and this is the length now they're going to look for the height which is when they put it down it's going to be like this so when it's like this the height of this product is going to be five centimeters so those are the things that they're talking about when they're saying the weight and also the size of your product so if your product falls under standard you're gonna pay less but if it's bigger if your box is bigger so whether your product is smaller like this because this is the product that's supposed to be inside that box but look how small it is but look how big the packaging is you're not going to include the product itself you're going to include the packaging now let's move back into my screen so, so the second one is still going to be 35,000 cubic centimeters but it's going to depend on the category so if you're on categories like stationary cellular accessories you're going to pay anything between 30 rand 39.92 depending on the weight of your product so if your product is now large this is where it's about 130,000 cubic centimeters that's when you pay something like 46 rand 50 rand so those are your fulfillment fees so you just have to understand how much your product weighs how much space is going to occupy that's when you know how much you're going to pay now let's move to storage fees so now for the storage fees it's saying that free storage on fast moving lines is up it's all up to you so if your product is moving fast like within 35 days you don't pay for storage fees whatsoever so now let's see what this says say you send your product on the 1st of february and then on the 6th of march your product is sold out or all your stock that you sent is sold out you pay zero whether your product is small standard large extra large or oversized you don't pay for anything move let's move to over 35 days so if your product stays there for between 35 days to 45 days you're gonna pay anything between 4 rand or 12 rand 25 rand depending on the size of your product so if your product is too big also your fees are going to be a little bit higher so if you have like extra large so for example if you have extra large you're going to pay about 45 rand so this is only if your product is staying for extra 10 days if it stays for over than 10 days we move to 46 to 60 days which is now going to for a small product is going to be 8 rand for a standard product it's going to be 18 rands for a large product it's going to be 35 rands now we have more than 60 now now you do pay 32 rand 72 rand 100 rand so now if you have products that you're not sure whether they're going to do well just send a little bit of stock even though you're paying those four rands if you send five products four rands times five is like 20 rand so on the seller portal when you're about to ship your products it's going to estimate and also show you the number of days that your stock covers so you are guided by that there's no need to send extra and it's better to send every month or every Every week than to pay the storage fees which is only gonna be if your stock overstays so now let's move to the last part which is exactly using the calculator now on the calculator if you can see over here let's wait for it to open a little bit and you're gonna see that on the package dimensions I do have to put those uh, those measurements that I got so I've got 15 for my length and I've got 5 for my height and I've got 10 for my width now the weight of the product is less than 7 kg you must get the weight of your product from the supplier or you buy the weighing scale and the division that this product falls under if i don't find the the suggestion on the first page i'm just going to choose anything so let's choose consumer electronics and the department is going to be electronics accessories or computer and let's just say it's a computer component and the category i cannot see the, the the webcam so let's just choose the microphone so now we're changing this webcam into the microphone let's just assume that the sizes are exactly as i measured so we do have this microphone and when we bought this microphone now the selling price is what i'm gonna sell on take a lot let's say i'm selling this microphone for 300 rand now what is the cost of my product so this is going to include not only the cost of the product but also the shipping fee the packaging fees the customs and taxes when i buy my 45 up levels and, and also six up levels so those are the things that we should include now what i need to do over here is to just say the cost of my product with 250 rand so now we're going to work with 250 rand and let's just calculate and see if we're going to be able 
to make profit. So the selling price is 300 rand, the success fee is 24 rand and the fulfillment fee is 41 rand. So it means already on the fees I'm spending 65 rand or 66 rand around there. So the product is 300 rand and I bought it for my cost was 250. So it means already I've spent negative. So let's see the profit. So my profit, my net profit is going to be negative 15 rand 55 cents. It means that each time I sell a product, I'm going to make negative. I'm going to have loss. I still have to pay from my own pocket to cover those costs. So this means that this is not a good selling price or this is not a good product to sell. So if you see the, the product after all the costs, your competitors are selling them around this price. And if you buy it for 250 and you're willing to, and you want to sell it for 300 rand, it's not not going to work now let's move to say that we are going to sell this product for 500 rand and let's see if we're going to make enough profit so if you find this product your total cost in everything is 250 and now you want to sell it for 500 rand you have to see whether you will make profit so when you come to this stage this is only available inside the portal so you are it's just going to take you to the portal so by this time you must have already signed up with take a lot to be able to calculate this so now you do have a net profit of 168 rand. Well, now that's good. And the, the margins is 33.7%. So anything between 25 and 50% for profit, that's good. So this is how you calculate your fees and, and also to determine whether the product that you are about to source is going to make profit or not. So we've come to the end of our video and thank you so much for watching up to here. See you in the next video. Cheers.